Okay, Kit's headdress. <laughs> Larry with Under the Bridge Flies. I am tying a Kit's headdress. Uh, a friend of mine from Texas sent me this fly last night, and it's a really cool looking fly, so we figured we'd give it a shot, and he wanted a video, so we are tying this thing up for him, and this is the sixth time, I think, I've made this video. For some reason, my camera keeps failing on me, so... Size 4 Daiichi 2220, Wapsi Large Black Nickel Conehead, White UTC, and I'm sorry if I speed along this thing, but like I said, my phone for some reason is cutting half of these videos out, and this is the sixth one today, so. <laughs> Alright, so wrap your thread, start at the back of your eye, right there at the cone, go all the way back. And we're going to put in a piece of wire, and we're using UTC small and silver. Now this is a very versatile fly, so you can pretty much tie it um, in multiple colors and do a lot of different stuff with this fly. So but this pattern here is going to be a good fish catcher. And all right, so you want to take your wire, and what Kit does is he wraps his underbody with a excuse me with a silver tinsel. All right, so you want to put that wire in on the side and you want to keep your body uniform so you want to keep a nice even thread base with the wire because you don't want a big hump in your um, tinsel when you wrap this thing, okay? So um, <clears throat> we're just going to go ahead and get that in there. Alright, so now we're going to take our tinsel and I just got a piece here which I'm almost out of tinsel so hopefully this video works and we're just going to take our tinsel and tie it in right next to that and like I said you want a nice smooth even body here and you see what I'm doing is I'm wrapping that tinsel what I do is I wrap that tinsel down following it that way I don't have such a bend when I go to wrap this tinsel so and get that up there all right so now we're just going to wrap this tinsel if I can get a hold of it and you see that I'm wrapping my t freaking tape. <laughs> wow. Kit, this fly just don't want to cooperate with me, man. I don't know what the heck. All right, so we're just going to wrap this tinsel nice and even all the way up. Just keeping it no spaces. Um, Now, another thing is for around here, coming up on winter and going into early spring and everything, a good idea for this fly would be to uh, put you a little orange or red hot spot on the bottom of this fly using uh, Chanel or something and then uh, wrapping it up with some maybe cactus Chanel uh, pearl. It's pretty decent, you know. But this is uh, Kit's pattern here, and this is what we're going to tie. So bring your tinsel all the way to the front. And once you get up there, just uh, tie that off, and you can uh, grab a hold of that and snip off your extra tinsel right there. So next thing you're going to do is put in a piece of rabbit strip, and we're using a chinchilla hairline. And this is... Uh, I love hairline rabbit strip, man. This is such good stuff here. So, chinchilla looks really nice. And uh, if you're tying this on a bigger hook, uh, go to the Magnum, but for size four on down to, uh, you know, 12s or 10s or whatever, just use a regular rabbit strip. So, 
when I tore this off I got me a good bare piece there so what we're going to do is just tie this on top of the hook here and we're just going to get that tied in and keeping it on top make sure you got it good and tied in there now you want to keep that on top of your hook and then when you get to uh, wet your finger a little bit because when you get back here to the wire another little quick trick take your scissors and just go across that and you see that nice bare nice bare spot there that it gave me now take your wire and we're just going to go around this a couple times keeping that rabbit strip right on top kind of snugging it up right there and go around at least twice on the back of that that's going to hold that in real good on the back all right and then start weaving your wire forward and you see i put my tinsel in counterclockwise so i'm putting i'm wrapping my wire because i wanted to it's harder to wrap your wire than it is to wrap that tinsel so um, you always want to wrap it opposite and that's why I wrapped my wire backwards is so I could uh, wrap this a lot easier and just move it back and forth get it in there and just you know kind of wiggle your wire back and forth and that'll help tie tighten that down really good um, don't pull too tight though because you will break your wire and then you will be foobard. Alrighty, so get this one in there. Tighten that down real good. Alright, so when you get to the front here, what you want to do is I'm I always wrap mine around two or three times, you know, get me get that good and tied in right there. And then go ahead and capture that wire. With your thread real good. And then just grab a hold of your wire and do the helicopter thingy. Alright, now I'm going to get rid of my tail here. And how I do my tails is real simple. I just grab a hold of it, mark it to the front of it, and now my tail is as long as my hook tank. Okay, so we're going to wet this down just to keep it out of our way. Alright, so now we're going to flip this fly over and grab some spay marabou. And the spay is, you know, nice and flat on the edges. Um, so we're going to grab us a good piece of spay here. Grab it. Oops, turn that back over. Grab it with this hand and pull forward, fluff that forward until you get up there, then pinch it with this finger just like so. And then what the kid does is he makes this about as long as his hook, maybe just a hair of it longer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this right here and we're gonna put that on there and we're gonna wrap around about three times Get a little snug tight, that way it holds in place. Grab our scissors here and sneak down and give it a cut off. You want pretty good sharp scissors for this. So, um, And then we're just going to wrap forward, tying that in. Let go of that. Now you can see how that kind of fan that out. So you want to keep that fanned. Um, so push down with your thumb once you get it down grab a hold of it with this finger and just go over the top kind of lightly over the top and then once you get done around pull tight and see how that splays all that out there for you that way you don't have one big clump right there in the middle it just kind of feathers it all out so looks really nice that way alrighty so now we're going to put in our flash and we're using two colors of flash one flash of boo and we're using black. We're gonna grab about three strands of this and just grab you three strands, grab a hold of that and cut it down as close as you can to the bottom because you want these fairly long. You figure out about where half is, hold that in place right there, grab it with your finger and thumb so it's sitting right on the side of this side and again go around about three times now when you grab this one just uh, start wrapping as you're pulling it 
see how I'm doing that and go right down the side and good next thing you want to put in is either a flash of blue uh, pearl uh, silver pearlish you know colors um, I'm using a UV mental belly made by hairline this is a uh, pretty nice flashy stuff here so and it's UV so I'm just going to grab a little just a little section of this maybe I mean there's not a lot there as you can see there's probably four but we're going to do the same thing I'm going to grab a hold of that get down there at the bottom slip that off find half find half alright so grab a hold of that stick it on the side there and again about three wraps grab a hold of this side and as you're working it back just so I'm just tighten that up as I go all right good there's your flesh all done alrighty so this thing's still wet so it's not very poofy <laughs> now we're going to put in our collar which is we're going to make a dubbing loop which you want to take your finger pull your thread out about three or four inches here and just go ahead and wrap that around make it a real nice dubbing loop see there now you got a spinning tool which is this we're going to stick that on there this slides on and holds it into place now we got clips that you can use a uh, kit actually uses a chip clip a small chip clip is what he uses I use these clips I got from uh, the office supply store these are two inch clips and basically all you're going to do is take your rabbit strip here and just run that clip right down the strip and if you wet it a little bit it helps too um, let's see you can get that good and straightened up before you put your clip on there but what else I'm going to do is just take and run my clip down the rabbit strip just like so grab a hold of it and then we're going to trim the hide off of this thing and then finished product you're going to have see there a bunch of uh, rabbit strip inside the clip Okay, so take your dubbing wax, grab a hold of your, make sure you're untwisted there. Take your dubbing wax and just run up and down that a couple times. Make that good and sticky. And that just helps hold this rabbit in while you're doing this uh, noodle. And you're just going to take your rabbit and lay it on there. And go ahead and start spinning your clip, or spinning your, oops, I lost it. See if we can salvage this. Hopefully, otherwise we're going to do part seven. Get your, uh, just stick that back in there. <laughs> and start spinning. <laughs> wow, this fly does not like me, I'm telling you. And just spin and spin and spin. And it's an easy fly to tie, too. That's what's messed up about it. And we're just going to brush that out and get that nice and furry. All right. So, got that all in there. Now, we're going to grab our hackle pliers. Now, D-ring hackle plier, um, Amazon, you can buy these things anyway. A guy in Colorado makes these, made these, made these up, and these are just, I, I love these hackle pliers. A guy from my, my Project Tilling Waters group, a volunteer, gave me mine, and I just love the things. But we're just going to go ahead and start spinning this around and pulling it back as we go. We want to make sure that we pull this back out of the way. Keep it pulling, keep it spinning. 
In other words, we're building this head up, is all we're doing here, so making this nice and fluffy and big and that's the thing here. So once you get down to the end of your rope there, you can go ahead and whip finger capture a hold of that thing. And what I'm gonna do is make me another one real quick. And where's my scissors? There they are. I'm just gonna get rid of that. this down and move this thread up a little bit and give that a little brush here and then we're going to put another one in if you don't know how to do dubbing loops you've got to start tying these flies and trying this and practicing that because dubbing loops are you really oh, that hook is sharp <laughs> so we're just going to do that again make us another dubbing loop and Same thing, grab a hold of it with this, lay that down, and we're going to grab our uh, rabbit strip here, and where's my, uh, I lost it, boy, can't find nothing, I got a mess on my desk here, so, alright, so I'm going to Grab me another piece of rabbit strip here, and we're going to put it in our clip. Same thing that we did last time. <clears throat> Excuse me. Except for this time, hopefully it sticks. And we don't have to mess around with that. Once you get it into your clip, trim that hide off. Wax your, wax your, wax it, wax on, wax off. Try to keep that in there. Wax that up a little bit. Take your dubbing clip or whatever you're using. Like I said, Kit uses a chip clip. I use these. And get that on there and start spinning. Hey, I did it right this time. <laughs> Good and tight. You grab it with my hackle pliers. You can spin it with. Uh, you can do it with this. I just like putting my hackle pliers on. It just makes it easier. Makes it easier for me when I'm doing this. And then I'm gonna just grab my toothbrush here and pull them fibers out. Get long there. And then we're just gonna go ahead and start spinning this thing on, holding. Pulling them towards us as we go. And this is making a huge head on this thing. Keep on going around. Forcing it up underneath of that cone as we're going. See there? And once you get up to the front, get rid of that clip. Because you want to grab a hold of that there. Grab a hold of it and reach for it. And what you're doing is you're trying to pull that forward as you're doing it. So um, bring your thread. See how that's sucking at it. So you can see that thread moving backwards as I'm going up under this. So what we're doing is we're sucking it up in there. See there? There it goes. And we just suck it up in there and give that a good, nice, tight wrap. All right. Uh, whip finish. This is the Kits Headdresser. Very good fly to tie. Um, give it a shot because, um, like I said, practice that dubbing loop because there's a lot of flies that, you know, you use that dubbing loop on. And if you're not doing them yet, uh, it's a good fly to practice them on because if you mess it up, you can, I mean, still fish this thing because it's a really good pattern. But <laughs> anyway, that is the Kits Headdresser. And it's once this is all good and dry, it's going to be a nice fluffy fly. But that bottom um, there, 
just going to keep that out so we're that rabbit fur stays you know poked out a little bit there you know and but this is going to be a killer fly um you got to tie some up um kit says he's got about a hundred of these so if you need some give me a holler we'll hook you up with them and get you some flies that's for sure but kit's headdresser really really nice pattern i like this a lot um if you're using a bigger hook use your magnum strips um but anyway um, hope you enjoy the fly. You guys, uh, Thanksgiving's coming up this week, so uh, spend it with your friends and family. Go out and do some fishing. Have a good time, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching, and hope you enjoy Kit's Headdresser. Thank you.